You're watching That Love Will Bowl in Life. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. And if this is the first time you're seeing our faces, I'm Rianne and that's Sam. So it's a brand new year, but we're back at the old table for our first video of 2022. And we just wanted to take our time to say Happy New Year from us to you and a very happy early Chinese New Year. So as you may have noticed, we have taken some time off at the end of 2021. So we'll be getting into all the details of what we got up to and also some goals for 2022. But before we get into it, please help us out by liking this video, big thumbs up on the video and subscribing if you haven't already. Right. Should we get into it? Yep, let's do it. So first things first, let's tell you where we've been. Yes, so we actually flew home to the UK on the vaccinated travel lane. So we flew back for Christmas, which was kind of a stressful experience, I have to say. You know, a few weeks before we were due to fly, the whole Omicron variant thing just blew up and we were a bit unsure whether we were going to actually get to go home. But we did, we flew back and, you know, we even bumped into a couple of Kiwis at the airport, didn't we? Yeah, so we were at Changi, we were filming because we were going to do a VTL video and we spotted them, we spoke to them, really nice. We recorded the message, we'll play it over now, but no sound on it because I think... You were just a bit starstruck, weren't you, maybe? A little bit starstruck. <laughs> but yeah, they also flew to Europe. So they've got a Spain series. We'll link it below if you want to watch that as well. Yeah. And the interesting thing was the airport was really busy. I mean, Changi Airport, you know, we've been hearing stories over the last few years that, you know, it's really empty and it's really strange to see, but we were really happy to see that it was really busy and, you know, check-in and also, you know, the vaccination check and baggage drop was actually really efficient. I mean, it's Changi Airport, it's always going to be <laughs> efficient, even during a pandemic. We had a really good trip back in the UK. We were there for Christmas. We spent time with Rianne's family. We spent time with my family. And it was really nice just after two years of not being yeah. able to travel, not being able to do everything, just take that little time just to switch off, just relax. And I feel like we've really reset again for 2022. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, even though you you do say that we, we, when we went to see friends, quite a number of people did test positive for COVID. Thank God none of them suffered too badly. You know, everyone was vaccinated and, you know, they were doing the responsible thing, testing every day, things like that. Yeah. And we were lucky that, you know, we managed to escape it. Touch wood, you know, for now we have done the seven days of testing since we were back in Singapore. Everything's fine. So. Yeah, but I have to say this whole Omicron variant was really in the back of our heads the whole trip. Yeah. It didn't put a damper on it, but it was there. And we were worried that if we caught it, we'd be stuck in the UK. Yeah, and wouldn't and be able to come back to Singapore. Yeah. yeah, but that didn't stop us really enjoying it. For example, I went to a football game. I'm a Blackburn Rovers supporter. Me and my dad left our house at eight o'clock in the morning. We got back at 10 o'clock at night so it was like a 14 hour round trip sitting in a stadium with 16,000 people so if you are going on holiday don't worry so much about COVID don't worry so much about the variants you've just got to still live as well absolutely I think that was something that I probably didn't do enough of but as Sam said you know life has to go on and we really did enjoy the holiday So seeing as this is kind of a catch up life updates video, it's over to Rianne for some news. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so um, I'm not the only one here. We've been going through this pandemic for over two years. It's three years into COVID-19 already now. And I think it's kind of generated a lot of questions and I've been, you know, t I took the time to deliberate about what's really important in life. Uh, especially when we were back in the UK with family, things like that. So as Sam said, I do have some news and it's, I made a decision which will be something very positive for me, for us, for the channel. And it's something I can't exactly share with you right now, but it is something that uh, we will be sharing in a future video. So do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and watch out for that. But I think it's something that will only bring more joy yeah. to this, don't yeah. you think? I think so. And like Rianne said, it's nothing bad. It is good. You can speculate in the comments below if you'd <laughs> like. We'll like some of them if you're close. Um, but yeah, it's a good thing. This is something I've been pushing Rianne to do for years now because I just think this will really help her moving forward. 
Yeah, so. and I think it will be great to see Singapore in another side, which potentially, you know, I've not seen before. So it will be really interesting to see that other side of Singapore, which as expats, we haven't necessarily explored. So something yeah. in the pipeline to look out for. But enough about that. Let's move on to the next thing. So now we are heading into our second year on YouTube. We started this channel in May 2021. So we're heading into our first full year as that level bone in life. We're heading into the year of the tiger. So we wanted to use this last part of the video to set some goals, personal and for the channel. So, do you wanna start? Yeah, so I think for me or for the for the channel, I would love to hear more from you and what you want to see from us. I think, you know, there's gonna be more opportunities to travel this year, hopefully. Yep. So that's something that I would really love to, you know, take you with us when we go abroad and document all the things that, you know, all the adventures that we have. And Singapore is basically on the doorstep of all of Asia, yeah. Southeast Asia. So it's so easy to travel, you know, back in the day. But now with so many vaccinated travel lanes, I think it's going to be great that we can actually, hopefully, do some more sort of travel vlogs, I guess. And yeah. do let us know if that's something that you'd love to see from us. Yeah, and we'd love to take you around Malaysia because obviously we lived there for two years. We haven't been back for so long now. Yeah. So we'd love to take you around, show you the best places to get food, play, best places to go. Obviously, it's probably changed a lot yeah. since we were last there, but we both love it and we'd love to take you along for the journey. Now we want to tell you about some of our personal goals. Yeah, so for me, I think... I think this is kind of the case again for many people, but I really struggle to sort of live in the present. I think I alluded to it before when, you know, I said that we went back to the UK and the Omicron variant, you know, stressor was always kind of there at the back of my mind. And I don't think I fully relaxed like you. you. You said that you managed to reset and recharge. For me, I think it was still very much of a stressed out kind of vibe for me even though I was still on holiday which is kind of it's a shame and I think you know I did probably didn't make the most of my time back home because I still did have that worry in my head so for me I really want to take the time to meditate to breathe to really live fully in the present that's something that I really would like to achieve and focus more of my attention on living for the now yeah and my goal is quite kind of similar, but it's to try and do new things. If that's cooking a new recipe, if it's going to a new club, it's just doing new things. And one of the great things about this channel, as I've always said, is that it does push you outside of your comfort zone. So now you've heard what we want to achieve this year, we'd really love to hear from you about what you would like to achieve in 2022. And I call them New Year's practices because, you know, resolutions has this sort of like, right, if you don't achieve it, then you failed. Whereas a practice is something that you can, you know, pick up and stop and start. And that way you won't feel like such a failure because, you know, slow and steady still is a step in the right direction. So as we said at the top of this video, this is just a brief catch up life update video, but thank you so much for watching. Yes, thank you so much for watching. I'm Rianne and that's Sam. And if you haven't already, please do give this video a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And as we have been away from YouTube for about four weeks, the longest break we have ever taken, we may just need to jig that algorithm up just so it notices us a bit more. So if you can and you haven't commented already and you've got this far in the video, just type 2022 in the comments below and it'll really help us. Yeah, thank you, we'd really appreciate it. And thanks again for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.